She just burst onto the mainstream music scene two years ago with her infectious platinum hit Girls Chase Boys. Yeah, uh -huh. that song spent a whopping 20 weeks on the Billboard Top 100. Such a hit. She has not rested on her laurels, though not one bit. Ingrid is gearing up for her Hell, Hell no. no tour this fall, and she's out with her seventh studio album. This one's called It, it Doesn't, Doesn't Have, Have to, to Make Sense. sense. So true. I love your titles. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's what makes sense. Hell No is such a great, great anthem mm, song. So it's Thank like, you. Did, how do these songs come to you, Ingrid? We were writing uh, in Nashville, two writers and I, and that was the first lyric that came out, which is like, Hell No. And then we thought, okay, what are we saying Hell No to? What makes yeah. sense? And I think a breakup pretty much yeah. makes a lot of sense with the words hell no. So we kind of built the whole song around that. That's how songwriting goes for me a lot. It's one phrase that comes uh -huh. out, and then, and then, and then you build around it. Then it evolves. It. Yeah. yeah. You've been it through... reveals itself, doesn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah. And there's obviously, there's also a lot of depth in this, in this CD, a lot of um, heartache, I yeah, think is well, it's fair to say. Yeah, yeah, I lost my mom. I went through a divorce. I had a lot to mourn, mm -hmm. and I was trying to figure out how to do that. And when I realized that uh, when I tried to stop making sense of everything, I was able to breathe. I was able to have joy. And so I just tried to stop defining everything and controlling everything because I'm very controlling. <laughs> and it ended up just being the best decision I could ever make. And so that's why I named the record. That. Well, I think if you've lost someone and you listen to a couple of these songs, you'll nod your head because you will feel exactly probably, yeah. Ingrid, what you were going through at the time. I yeah. think what's cool about, you're going to perform for us a little later, and there is a performance that's going along with your song that you're going to do for us. Yes. Describe the genesis of the performance we're going to see. Well, I was watching the Tonys, and uh -huh. I saw Spring Awakening, and they had these amazing uh, mm -hmm. actors that were deaf, and it was a Deaf West production. So there were people singing and acting, and then there were these amazing people. I thought it was dancing at first, and I realized it's ASL, American Sign Language. Yeah. They were signing. And I thought... Which is like a dance. Yeah. It is. And mm -hmm. I thought how visually amazing Beautiful, that is. And maybe yeah. I can do something with my music, something different. And I thought, let's do it with Hell No. Let's get these kids together. I got Michael Arden, the director, and he was on board. So excited. There it is. Yeah, and so it took us like six hours, and we got into a studio, and look at that. We did. Cindy Lauper, by the way, was like, can I come down and see Ingrid? Oh, my gosh. And we, she heard us talking about your boyfriend. Okay, yeah. And she was wondering, who is he? So Little for Chase. Cindy, we want to ask about Great it. Broadway She's like, you're with a Broadway guy? <laughs> <laughs> we, a lot of people may know him from Nashville, the show Nashville. Yes. Oh, there right? we are. Oh, okay. How cute Unedited. Are you two? <laughs> That's okay. Don't Real judge. Life. Don't judge. <laughs> you guys are such, so supportive of one another, though, oh, in fair, terms yeah. of your careers and lives. And She's got a new series coming up this yes, fall, right? time after time. Okay. Cool. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.